Welcome back, friends, to the porch here at Lantern One. It's the second week of September. Have a festival coming up pretty soon here, and uh, everybody's getting ready for that. The leaves uh, have started to change on a few of the trees, and uh, the sun is still continuing its march to the south. And the days are shorter, the nights are longer and cooler. It's kind of a time of year that everybody loves is fall. I spent a few minutes today talking and finishing up my solar video on my 200 watt energy solar system. Alright, let's get into the solar here. I just want to show briefly, this is my Renergy Wanderer solar charger and what happened is, uh, and I'll do a video on uh, fixing it here, when I pulled into Cabela's coming back this spring um, I had actually plugged my battery leads onto the wrong onto the wrong post on the battery and my solar charger wasn't working so I freaked out and thought I'd wired something wrong and pulled off. Uh, I've got a plug and some other stuff that'll hook onto this um, with a uh, three prong plug. This is a 30 amp camper cable that I salvaged off from the abandoned camper. And then I've attached my MC4 solar connectors to that. Now I'm going to attach two panels to each of these or two connectors uh, so I can have two panels and I have a splitter set that I'm going to put onto that. All right, so what I initially had done was I had this three-prong plug wired into here and the um, other plug wired onto the end of the cable. And that's what I pulled apart in the parking lot of Cabela's. Also, uh, I didn't mark uh, the black and the green. I'm using the black and the green for uh, black for positive, green for negative on this system. So what I'm going to do here in a little bit is take all this apart on video, reattach it. This is, I've got the MC4. So I've got the MC4 connector that'll, the male and female set, oops, the male and female connector that'll go on here so I can double up to 200 watts of solar. So I went ahead, gone ahead and I've used just a simple system. I clamped this uh, cable down. I've run black into negative, which is how I have it set up, and green into positive. I've got it screwed down. And I'm going to work on, so I initially took this, took this plug apart. And uh, just need to reattach it. Yes, yeah, so I pulled the parking lot at Cabela's in uh, Lexing Lexington, Kentucky, and I was trying to get get a couple hours of solar, and didn't realize that I'd hooked up my leads to the battery coming off of the charge controller backwards. So when I plugged in the solar panel, I got nothing, so I flipped out for a moment and said, well, probably wired something backward in the plug, which I did not, and finally when I discovered I had switched my positive and negative leads on the, on the battery on, on the back of the camper, it was a moot point, so I just ripped it apart and figured, and uh, remember, before you connect your... Uh, plug you want to uh, make sure you put the cover on it. So I'll take these off and do that one more time. Alright, there's that. I'm going to line up the, the screw holes here. I don't remember. Oh, man. Hey, look at that. It lined up. i probably do that again. I'm not 100% concerned about this being a waterproof system. Um, Alrighty. And all right, friends, I already have another 100-watt solar panel underneath here. Uh, being as solar panels are never turned off, I just covered it with a blanket to keep the uh, sun off it for a little bit. So out here is another 100-watt energy panel. I have had this for several years. Actually, I got it on Amazon Days a few years ago, and uh, it, was, it was under $100 for the second panel, so I went ahead and got an extra one. Um, I have had it open, but basically it's been boxed up, boxed up since before I even moved into the area. So here's what your 100 watt energy panel looks like coming out of the box, ready to go. So it's padded, it's in good shape, it is brand spanking new. We're going to get this out here and hook them both up and hook them up to an AGM battery that I have, a second battery that's in Norma, the enormous Yukon.
Remember you always hook your battery up to your charge controller before you hook your solar panels up. Because the solar panels, yeah, gravity is still working. The solar panels are always on. I believe I put this on a, this wasn't marked positive or negative, so I added a zip tie so I would know which post was the black post. I did add the two multiple MC4 connectors. Two pluses, two minuses into the cable. Alright, so I did a little switcheroo on my plus and minus coming into the charge controller. We'll see if that changes it. And it does. So as usual, I had plus and minus backwards. I am showing a flashing photovoltaic, so I am getting electricity in there. I've got sealed, gelled, and flooded for my selector. It's a green for sealed, orange for gel, red for a flooded battery. And I do not, I could not find my voltmeter. It is somewhere in the camper, I think. So I don't know what my incoming voltage is, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it sit out here and let it uh, charge for a little bit. And again, the reason why I put the plug system on here was so I don't have to park a camper in the sun to charge the batteries. I can just run a, it's probably a 20-foot cable over there. We'll take a look at the whole system here in just a second. So right now I'm just using my Duracell Deep Cycle Absorb Glass Matte Battery. And again, my two leads were the same color, so I went ahead and hooked a zip tie to the positive, the black lead, in March when I headed back because I had a brief panic, not knowing what I had rewired incorrectly and pulled a lot of the stuff apart. Okay, we'll move over here to the charge controller. It's a Wanderer charge controller from Renergy. Again, I do have the blinking light showing that I am charging. So I ran, basically it's a old 30 amp camper cable, put a three-pronger on, I'm only using two of the prongs, and my fancy schmancy set up here against my pole, but so I've got 200 water, two 100 watt panels coming into my, running in parallel, I believe, uh, yes, this is parallel into these two wires, thought being was that I can roll these, roll this cable up and leave it with these two panels, leave my MC4s connected, and they go in the back of Norma. The enormous Yukon, and I have them padded in the back, and then I can carry them in the vehicle with the charger and kind of a blackout kit. So if I'm at home or somewhere else, I need to run some 12 volt lights or charge something. I have a 400 watt inverter. I can do that from the luxury of the Yukon or wherever I am. Then I can also hook up to my battery on the front of Lantern One here and charge that. So that is. A simple 200 watt setup. Thanks for joining me here for my brief talk on my 200 watt portable solar system from the front porch of Lantern One here in the Mohican River Valley in the Central Highlands of Ohio. It's early September 2019. The breeze is blowing, the leaves are starting to change, the walnuts are falling off the trees, and hope to have some more videos this fall as uh, we approach my favorite time of the year. So this is Caribou Dave. Remember, do what you can, where you are, with what you have. Caribou Dave out. And if you can, go ahead and subscribe. We need to hit that 500 subscriber mark. Well, friends, we're going to go over some of my solar uh, solar stuff. This is not part of my solar system. Actually, it is part of my solar system in a greater sense of solar system. But uh, Myself and the Adventure Dog and all the people running chainsaws and leaf blowers in the background. Thank you for joining us. It's late summer here in the Mohawk Valley. 
or even the Mohican Valley. Where am I? 